Victor Page in the backcourt. Villanova in blue. Georgetown in gray. That's got the control. Al on Ebert. That's the key matchup early in this ballgame. Jerome Williams, the senior from Germantown, Maryland, just honored along with Othella Harrington as they have played their last home regular season game here. Got to catch that ball. He had a clear path to the basket. And Williams, it'll count. Iverson covers so much territory. Here he picks up a cheap foul. Trying to reach in from behind. Iverson picks up his first. Allen now with 111 steals. Breaks his own uh, Georgetown record. It's incredible the anticipation that he has as a defensive player. Picked last year as a freshman defensive player of the year in the Big East and certainly deserves it. Williams feeds Ebert. Ebert's quick release. Iverson rebound. Oh, he got to pick up Iverson. I can't believe that Allen probably should have taken that Allen last week because I think it, Williams may be a half inch taller. He's almost 6'5". Iverson trying the lane foul call. How'd you like that crossover dribble? Huh. Might not have been Tim Hardaway, but it's close. He is so quick. Watching him in practice yesterday, Billy, too, what you notice about it is his body hasn't got huge legs, but he is very big in the upper body and strong, much yeah, stronger than he would appear for size. Exactly. You're looking at all muscle there. I, you know, body fat content be zero on Allen Iverson. Oh, and, and the other thing about it is he doesn't mind taking his body into traffic. He's fearless in that regard. Richard Page, the freshman. Uh, sport for Iverson lets it fly for three. Tremendous technique by Allen Iverson. He ducked on in, and that little duck-in move he made before the jumper backed off the defender by a half a step that gave him, gave him the room for the shot. Stays in the box and one. John, off the front eye, way up is Iverson. Nice smart play by Allen. Pulls it back out, get things organized. Now for three. Off the back rim and a collision. Iverson goes They're down. They're both down. And Celestan, both apparently all right, but a pretty good crash. Celestan picks up the personal, his first. You can see the foul after the shot. Iverson goes down. Gets hit. Well, that's a dangerous thing when you're up in the air like that, Jimmy. You release the ball. You're trying to concentrate on the shot. You get contact. You don't protect yourself. Well, he'll get three shots from the free throw line, Allen Iverson. Well, you go across the line on Allen Iverson. Been to the foul line this year. 200. This will be 240 times. Makes it so tough on people. He's got the great perimeter shot. Can finish on the break. And then the minute you think you've got him in half court, he'll penetrate inside and go to the line. Tuesday night, Georgetown lost to Providence, 84 to 77. Iverson had 34 points in the defeat. Tim, I think they're a lot better when Allen Iverson scores 25 than when he gets over 35. Better distribution of points, more guys getting involved with the game. Of course, in that one, John Thompson sat down early too. It was uh, two technical fouls. College player, postman, have to realize on that double down, if they touch the ball, pass it out quickly, there'll be a wide open jump shot. College teams aren't like the NBA where they make the adjustment after the double down, but so many college post guys will have a tendency to want to hang on to the ball. 19 to 15 Hoya lead. Nice. Jaw for Harrington and missed the layup. And a foul called. Bulacar Ow. Sends Iverson away. Iverson pulls up, wasn't ready, forgot his own rebound. Oh! How about that one? Double clutched it at the end. And felt he was fouled on the jump shot. The third on. There's Iverson on the jumper. Nobody blocking him out. He senses where the ball's going to go and takes off. Turns the corner. There's his double clutch. Puts it back in for the score. Boy, is he dangerous. <laughs> Number one score in the Big East. First and exclusive to find out the field of this year's NCAA championship. Somebody better stop that ball penetration. It's amazing how people allow Iverson 
they get it going, and nobody wanting to guard him. I guess maybe you don't want to get, uh, after having your shirt taken off, but when he's got the ball, you got to stop him. Well, and Iverson's had a lot to do with that. Oh, without question. John made a great comment the other day. They said, you know, how about controlling Allen Iverson? said, why would you want to control an Allen Iverson? He said, what he needs is freedom. He said, both on and off the court, it's important for him to have freedom. And uh, there's a point well taken there. And that's how he, that's how he coaches this young man. Ellison picked up the personal. Iverson got one of two. Jump shot. Iverson driving. Baseline made it. Boy, I, I tell you, there are not many guys that you'll see that size that will go right at big people. Challenge them not only with their leaping ability and quickness, but also with guts. Now watch this. Allen goes right in there. Lawson does a pretty decent job on him. He just overpowers him. Terrific play. I said jump shot because he was wide open. But what happens is the ball was, uh, when it was swung over there, he's wide open. You go out to challenge him. He's just so quick he goes by. Pete Gillen said the other day after the game at Providence, and in his mind, Allen Iverson's the best guard that he has ever seen in college. Pretty big statement. Pete's been around a while. 14 points for Iverson, 43-27. How about how patient Iverson has been in this ball game? Not to try to do too much. When it's available, take over that spot. <laughs> Six feet beyond the three-point line. Looks to me about 54 feet. Huh? Well, actually, it's even more than that because that was the NBA three I was counting from. <laughs> down, freshman. But there's the difference between Allen Iverson this year and last year. You know, he'd get in on an emotional roll and just try to score every time he touched it. Now he looks for his spots, and there he is. Nails another three. He gets a better shot. 20 points. Iverson takes it in. The jumper off the mark. Al rebounds. This bank is a miss and biggest rebound. Six seconds left. Oh, 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 oh. Page. Page trying to get it to Ja. Iverson in the air. Biggest with another freshman mistake. Pretty big phone bill. Got the card in the Alaskan shootout in 84. I mean in 94. Iverson goes in, attracts double attention, just like I was talking about before, as Kittles would do if he were playing for Villanova. Watch here, he's being guarded by a man, then by two men. Makes it easy for... Harrington to have a wide open shot. Hoyas control. Nichols alertly grabbed the loose ball. How about that crossover? Nice job there by Othella Harrington to make room on the solid screen. And Allen just split the step out. 24 points for Iverson. And Brown for Villanova. Page for Georgetown. Oh, one four right here. How tough is this to stop? Iverson, impossible. You know, I really thought that uh, you'd see a lot more one four against people when you have a guy like Iverson. I mean, and I think in the NCAA tournament, particularly games that'll go down the last six, seven minutes, you'll see Georgetown use that offense a lot. Here we see Page. Now watch where he takes off. Boy, he flushed that one. Four at least. Does Iverson? Oh, how does he make those shots in traffic? He had his head pulled back and still had the concentration. I told you he's fearless in there. Watch this one. And he still makes it. You're talking about a tough monkey here. Boy, something. Terrific play on Allen Iverson's part. He has some guts, doesn't he? Alvin Williams was the guy who put the body on him and gave him a pretty good shot. But Iverson, concentration and toughness, turns it into a three-point play. Well, he had all that when he arrived at Georgetown. What he's got now is a feel for the game, an understanding as to when to turn it on and off. In one year's time, he has become a complete player out there. Allen Iverson letting people know he didn't appreciate it. 
Four on Alvin Williams. He goes out for Villanova. You know, we all know that, and, and just think about what a great athlete this is, Tim. In, as a junior in high school, he was the top basketball player in the state of Virginia, but he was also the top football player as a quarterback and a defensive back. And a lot of people felt that projected as a defensive back, he would have been an incredible college football player as well. I think he can do about anything he wants as an athlete based on what he has shown in college basketball. Well, you get back in. Here's the offensive set I'm talking about for NCAA tournament. Georgetown gets you down. They put Augustin out here at the top. Four guys on the baseline. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to send two guys out and take the ball away from him? I think that's the best move as opposed to being out here with him all by yourself. There he goes. Forget it. I think you got to rush him with two men, make him give up the ball, and let somebody else touch it. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Iverson just checked it. Scrolls in. Pulls up. Won't go that time. John is to take Iverson and keep him in focus. On the other hand, a courtroom sketch artist has plenty of time to add detail to a rendering of Kerry Kittles. Villanova star holding still on the bench as he finishes a three-game suspension for misuse of a phone card. Nova taking on G-Town at the U.S. Air Arena. Those two going at it and battling. G-Town, always tough at home. They may change Georgetown's name to Allentown, and here's why. Iverson and some touch from Jason Lawson. Hoy is up by 19. Final seconds of the first half off a Nova turnover. Iverson is going to fade, fire, fill it. 22 in the first half. He rejoices as he heads for the locker room. Hoyas by a dozen. Second half, more from Allen. Just gets hammered by Alvin Williams, and the bank was still open. Let's take another look at that one. Let's do it from the look of the D. This is what you saw if you tried to stop him, and nobody could. Off the window, and it was indeed Iverson's court today. 37 points as Georgetown romps 106 to 68, and boy, will Kittles be a welcome sight in the Big East tournament. Nova 1-2 and two without him. Georgetown's now won 18 straight at home. Othello Harrington held Jason Lawson to just one field goal while going for 20 points and 12 boards himself.